There's no feeling more helpless than being unable to come to the aid of a loved one in need. As Heidi Nunez discovered on December 18th, 1985, near her home in Redlands, California. I was on my way to pick up my daughter from school. She was in kindergarten at the time. Heidi was five months pregnant with her third child. I had my son, Matthew, in the back seat in his car seat, and we headed off towards the school. And I pulled up alongside the curb, and I left the car running because the starter on the car was bad. And sometimes if you shut the car off, it wouldn't always start up again. And I thought that my son would be okay because he was in his car seat. I was waiting for my mom to pick me up and she came across the street and picked me up by the playground. her hand and we turned around and my car was going down the street with my son in the front seat my first reaction was just to go after it to see if I could catch it but it just seemed like the faster I ran the faster the car was going and I thought oh god if there's a god make my legs run faster and I couldn't run any faster and my son was crying for me the further away the car got the faster it was going and it started heading towards houses. And I thought, dear God, I didn't know he's going to die because it was going so fast and it was so out of control. Mailman Alex Verdeo had just begun his daily route. I heard this crashing noise. I looked down the street and I seen this car popping out of this neighbor's yard. And I noticed that there was no one driving in it and I could hear a kid screaming in the car. The boy was standing on the front seat. So there was that thought. And if I'm not able to stop this car, this car is going to hit whatever it's going to hit, being a car, being a house, this little kid's going to fly through that windshield. And something in my mind told me that I was the only one there that could do something. The car was quickly approaching a busy intersection less than 100 feet ahead. finally managed to bring the car to a stop, it was just 20 feet short of the intersection. But both he and Matthew were unharmed. The mother came down. She was crying and gave her to the boy. I held my son, and it felt so good, because for a split second there, I thought I'd never be able to hold my baby again. When it was over, I picked up my mail, picked up my satchel, and, and started going back to work again. And I started thinking of what I just did, and I started getting scared. I started shivering and started shaking, because it, it happened so quick that I didn't have time to be scared during this whole time, okay? So I got scared after it happened. Five years have passed. For Heidi and Gennaro Nunez and their children, that day is still a vivid memory. I learned that there are people who aren't afraid to risk their own life to save another. And I've learned that you never, under no circumstances, ever leave your children unsupervised in a car. Okay, we'll chase this going. We don't have wings. Alex came and grabbed onto the handle, and um, he stopped the car, and um, he he put the car in the park, and. He took me to my mom. He's uh, a hero because he saved my life. When I see Alex and Matthew together, there is a bond between them. I feel it, Matthew feels it, and I hope Alex feels it.